Hello, my name is Stephen Halliwell, I'm the Secretary of the Preston Bird Watching Society. Uh, and my comments today are aimed primarily at the people who have never done any bird watching or those who have done very little. Living in the Preston area is, uh, is quite a fortune for you because um, whilst I intend talking about uh, watching in woods and parklands, it might be as well to start by just pointing out that um, we live really at the hub of, a, of a, a quite a large wheel, all of which has uh, some ornithological interest. The River Ribble, both banks of the River Ribble, out to Southport on the south bank and Blackpool on the north bank, uh, the River Wyre at the north of the Fylde, uh, right through to Morecambe Bay and uh, the ad adjacent Leighton Moss uh, Bird Reserve uh, are all superb areas where you can extend your bird watching. To the east we've got the Boland Forest and to the south we've got the Martin Mere Wildlife Trust. But today I just want to uh, uh, content myself with telling you a little bit about uh, watching birds in woods and parkland. If you can find uh, a, a woodland that has an accompanying stream or river or indeed just a pond you'll find that the number of species uh, of birds that can be found will be greatly increased. I myself watch an area in, uh, in the Fullwood uh, uh, part of the town. Uh, it's of no more than one square mile but in the last 12 months I've seen uh, around 60 species of bird, uh, including um, a migrating osprey, um, which actually flew, flew above the Lancashire Evening Post offices. Uh, not many people would, uh, would expect to find or see an osprey in such a location. The secret, if there is a secret, although really it amounts more to common sense, is to dress appropriately, don't wear too bright clothes um, and find somewhere comfortable and inconspicuous uh, and really just wait for the birds to come. As in your garden uh, you'll have birds uh, coming to your bird table and you think you may only have one or two blue tits or whatever the species are in actual fact you've probably got far more than that because feeding birds tend to move in large circles and what you really think are two blue tits are probably nearer to 20 in the course of a day. So don't go looking for the birds, let them come looking for you. That I think is probably the, uh, uh, the best advice I can give. If you need any encouragement to make a start now then it's a good time because autumn when the, the leaves are falling from the leaves they make the birds far more visible. Um, during the winter when you're watching birds uh, and, and finding them rather easy to locate try to do something about learning the songs of the perhaps 18 commoner uh, birds so that by the time the leaves start growing next spring uh, you'll be able to locate at least some of them by, by the song alone. The first time that you identify a bird from its song and then see it to confirm its identity is a real red letter day for you and it will encourage you to, uh, to learn even more. Uh, what you'll need to, uh, to uh, locate birds more readily is a pair of binoculars. You don't need anything more than a times 8 or times 10 magnification and the ones I use are what they call roof prism uh, binoculars. Um, they tend to be uh, smaller in nature uh, and far more uh, comfortable to use and I find these which are 10 times uh, the ideal uh, binocular uh, f for, for my use in, in the woodlands that I watch. Always buy the best that you feel that you can afford. In, as in most things, you get what you can afford. Uh, you can, I beg your pardon, you get what you pay for. Um, 
it's a once once only purchase in uh, for most people so buy the best that you can afford the other thing that you may need or certainly will need in the early days is a field guide uh, not expensive always buy the latest edition because knowledge is increasing all the time um, and in addition to a, a field guide you may feel that you want to carry a notebook and pencil the notebook and pencil are not essential but what you will find is that as time goes by it's nice to look back and see what you saw when you saw it um, and what part of the year you saw it uh, to compare with, with the following year for instance I made some reference earlier to learning birdsong and the benefits that that would give you uh, the following spring. Information as, as far as birdsong is concerned is readily available on CDs but my advice would be to find, find a more experienced bird watcher and accompany them or him uh, in the field and you'll learn far far quicker uh, when you're having the uh, the songs pointed out and the species identified for you at the time when you've been uh, uh, bird watching for some time you'll probably find that uh, you're wanting uh, to extend your knowledge there are countless books the internet is an invaluable source these days uh, the world really is your oyster, it's just a question of asking, uh, getting involved with other people, uh, but the most important thing uh, that you can do right now is make a start.